Hey, Gary Becker here with you, 30minutemarketing.net. Today's quick video, we're focused on low content book ideas. And since it is Father's Day, June 21st, 2020, we're gonna be talking about Father's Day books. And since I have a father and I am a father, I thought, why not? So first things first, let's just go to amazon.com and look up Father's Day. It's the most obvious thing to do, but usually, sometimes we just skip the obvious. So check it out, Father's Day. So Father's Day, here's a first bestseller. It's a sponsored book, so we'll skip that one. Then here's one with a nice little angle. Dad, I wrote a book about you, okay? So this is a notebook. You can see here the BSR 2469. This, uh, this is a what a daughter needs a dad. This is a little more complicated. It's not really low content. It's another sort of children's book here. Here's a joke book. I would consider dad joke books to be low content as well. You just need to go find some probably really bad jokes, put them in your book. You wouldn't need that many pages. Here's a, another joke book. And then here's that bestseller again, but not an ad. And you can see the BSR here is 287. That's 287 in books. Dad, I want to hear your story. A father's got a journal to share his life and his love. So the first one we saw was, Dad, I want to give you a story. I want to tell you a story. Now, Dad, I want to hear your story. So I think you can see the angle here. So let's go ahead and take a look inside of this one and see exactly what it is. So let's take a look inside of Dad, I want to hear your story. A father's got a journal to share his life and love. We'll go ahead and look inside. As you can see, it's got a nice cover. Happy Father's Day. It looks like a little poem here. It's your birthday. What is your birth date? What is your full name at birth? So basically this is a book that's asking questions, getting the story started. Very interesting. How old were your parents when you were born? So these are just questions that you would want to ask your dad or someone would want to ask their dad and their dad is just simply filling in the book to write the story. So this is a great idea. It includes a family tree there. More questions, you can see there it's going through there, uh, goes into the teenage years. So this is just a chronological order of the life, the family tree, questions about what happened for your dad to easily fill in the blanks to create his story and then give that gift back to the son or the daughter or just keep it and then go over it as a keepsake. So that's really interesting, really cool right there. A nice concept, a nice idea. So let's go back and just keep looking and see what else we got. Maybe something a little simpler than that. So we'll keep going down here, some more stuff, dad jokes, wrote this book. Here's one for you. Uh, thanks for being <laughs> then my real dad, funny novelty gift for a great stepfather, great alternative to a card. Now take note of that when you're doing research and think of this right here, great alternative to a card. Most people are going to be giving Father's Day cards. So we'll think about that and we'll take a look at that here in a minute, how we can utilize the power of the greening card when we're thinking about creating low content books and coming up with low content books ideas. So let's take a look at this book right quick. Again, BSR 7,975. So you can see here, this is a paperback novelty book. We'll go ahead and we'll look inside this one. This one is a very easy cover to create. And as you can see, it is literally a blank lined notebook. The BSR again was under 8,000. So, when you're doing this research, another thing is remember not to complicate it. Come up with ideas, come up with good ideas. When you see something like this, think about how you could improve on this. Of course, never copy, just use for inspiration. So that was a quick look at Amazon. Let's pop over to the next site that I would recommend you take a look at to get content ideas. And the, that's going to be Etsy, obvious, right? But today is Father's Day, so here's the thing. And here is my idea for you, as well as ideas for low content books is a bigger picture idea. Today is Father's Day. It's too late to sell a Father's Day book today, this year, in 2020 when I'm making this video. But if you do research today on Father's Day, you're going to see things like this. You just simply go to Etsy.com and this is the main page. Delight Dad with these ready to ship gifts shop Father's Day. They are going to hand you on a silver platter Father's Day ideas. Now these may be physical products, but that's the point. The point is what do fathers like? This is a million billion dollar industry that people spend the time to create products 
around giving presents and gifts to fathers. So think about how you can incorporate that, those ideas, those concepts into your low content books. So you can see right there, make sure that you click on this Shop Father's Day inside of Etsy. And you can see right here off the top, you don't even have to do the research. They've done it for you because it is Father's Day. So Father's Day gift. Celebrating might look a different, a little bit different this year, but we're here to help you delight your dad from any distance. The original dad's ice cream plow. Couldn't pick a better dad. Okay. Best buds. Dad, you mean the world to us. I mean, it's right here. Best grandpa ever, ever because grandpa is also, there is a grandparents day, but grandpa and father's day. So best dad ever. I mean, some of this stuff is very obvious. Some of this stuff you may not think of and you can drive inspiration for your low content book covers to make that simple lined empty notebook, just like you saw with a BSR under 8,000. So that book is selling and it's selling very well. Of course, most likely it's only selling in the month of or the months leading up to Father's Day. But again, you start thinking about your designs right now. And let's say you come up with 10 good designs, just five design ideas, and you create three of those. That's three books next year that you're going to be able to make a few sales on Amazon KDP if that's your only focus. So now let's tap into that idea, that, that concept that we got from that book that we saw on Amazon. And that idea again was great alternative to a card. So let's take that idea and let's run with that. And to do that, we'll just simply go to Google, type in Father's Day card ideas. I know these concepts are mind blowing, but this is the idea, right? This is the concept. We're in the research phase. We're thinking about Father's Day because it is Father's Day. And you're going to see right here some images, some cards. Again, not the copy, but for inspiration. And here's where I want to show you the power this is going to come in. Ideas, Hallmark.com. Hallmark is, again, a huge industry, a greeting card industry. They've done this research for you. You are going to be able to see what is a good idea right on their page. So we'll go ahead and we'll open that page up. And here you go. Ideas plus inspiration, home, Father's Day. Father's Day messages, what to write in a Father's Day card. They are giving you ideas of how to greet your father for Father's Day. So don't you think you could take this idea, these concepts, and create low content book ideas around those? Yeah, I think you're getting the point. Also, don't overlook another aspect of low content book ideas, specifically for Amazon and Amazon KDP, is keyword research. Father's Day is an opportunity to tell dad, Father's Day, dad, how much you appreciate him. New dads, old dads, granddads. Let me highlight these for you. Okay? Keywords here. New dads, old dads, granddads, dads-in-laws, stepdad, serious dad, goofball dads. I think you're getting the picture here. If you take this information and you go back to Amazon, and let's do that real quick and see what we find. We'll just go with stepdads. We'll copy that right quick and we'll pop back over to Amazon. We did Father's Day inside of books. Now we're going to search for stepdads inside of books. And the book that we saw that was a BSR under 8,000 that gave us this idea, which you see right here, is a great example of this keyword research. So you keep scrolling down here. Okay, you're the best decision mom ever made. This is from the same guy. BSR 35,000. Okay, keep going. I mean, right here, let's be honest, being my stepdad is easier than living with my mom. BSR 14,646. The idea that we already got just from that one single keyword, I think you're going to see that this is not as hard as you're probably making it out to be. Again, today is Father's Day. You're not going to sell your books today, but you are going to sell them next year. Now, let's go and take a quick look at how simple it is to create these empty notebooks that... This guy is creating right here and doing really well with. And to do that, we're going to take a look at a few options where to get templates. And these are definitely not needed. And I'm going to show you a free way to do this. It's very simple. It's very easy. But first things first, tangent templates. Literally right here, college rule, wide rule paper, dot grids, uh, story paper right here. You can see some more different paper, half ruled, half college, half college lined. Pittman shorthand paper, cursive paper, handwriting, a journal, 
Notepad, take a note of this one. I'm gonna show you how you can create this one with a free online tool. So you can just see, you could simply come up with these ideas, from example, the greeting cards in Etsy, and then you can take this and you can create these blank notebooks. And I'm not saying you will, but there is a good chance that you could make a few sales next year come Father's Day. Here's another example. This is BookBolt. BookBolt has the same kind of thing. They have lined paper. They have career plans. A reading list, that would be great for dad. Keep scrolling down here. Got some birthday reminders. Here's wide rules. It's a recipe book. Your dad might be into cooking. Your dad might be into scuba diving. Keep going. None more ideas. Day planners. Fishing log book. There you go. There's another great idea. A lot of dads out there like fishing. A lot of dad, granddads, stepdads like fishing. So a fishing log book with a dad's day. Father's Day slant on it might be a good idea. Here's another option, low content creation machine. Again, just giving you these options. If you think creating these interiors is complicated, there are tools that you can purchase like these three tools I just showed you. Of course, I'll leave the link in the description to everything I talk about here in the video so you can check these out for yourself. But you can see a lot of great options here to create different types of journals to really be able to mix and match just like the other tools. And now let me show you exactly how you can do this for free and inside a free tool that you most likely already know about, but maybe you just hadn't explored how simple and easy it is. And to get a good idea before we hop into that free tool, let's go back to Tangent Templates and let's take a look at this one that caught my eye because this journal paper right here, this journal paper is going to be quite easy to create once you see exactly how it's done and how easy it is to create even 100 pages of lined journal paper. So let's pop over to the free tool now. And that free tool is Canva. Go ahead, log in, create an account, create a design. Here you have custom dimensions. You don't even need to mess around with all the templates. You don't need to get lost in all the things that are going on here in Canva. Simply click on create new design, custom dimensions, change this to inches. Go ahead, keep this simple, 8.5 by 11. Go ahead and create a new design. And this just as easily could be a six by nine journal. Just using this as an example. Here you see we have a blank piece of paper. We're simply gonna go over to elements. We're gonna type in a line. You can see right there, I've been here before, I've done this before. There's tons of different options here when it comes to lines, but let's just keep this super simple. And then let's just drag this line over here. The first one that we saw inside of the journal was a line at the top. Then we just need to copy that paste a new line. Now we're gonna take this line all the way across, okay? And then we're just going to copy that and paste a few of those in there. Line those out right here. Get these organized. And I'm showing you this in real time just so you see how quick and easy this is to do because you may think that this is gonna take you a long time to create. But in reality, all you need to do is get a few of these lined out, maybe not even this many, but because I'm making the video, I thought I would just go ahead and do it for completeness. Then you would just go ahead and then you would copy those again. You're just gonna copy this. You're going to paste this. Now you have two sets of these lines right there. Then if you want to, you could just drag this up or say you don't like that right there. Drag this up right there, create a new line. Now you have lined paper right there. You have created a blank lined notebook. Okay, now you only have one page you say. Check this out, copy page. All right, now you have two pages. Keep clicking copy page. Now how many pages do I have? 25 pages. Just that quickly, I created 25 pages. Now we're just gonna go ahead, download. Download that. Download to PDF print quality. Download all 25 pages. That automatically downloaded, you open it up, there you go, your lined notebook paper ready to go. You can play with the thickness of these lines inside of Canva, but you see right there, we have 25 pages of lined notebook paper that we created in Canva. Easy peasy, no problem, didn't cost us anything to do. We got started, we're ready, got our interior ready. Now all we gotta do is go back and create that cover there is gonna be a link in the description to a video that I did here on the channel. It shows you exactly how to create these covers in Canva as well. The exact dimensions that you need to set that up to make sure that you get that correct. 
easy and ready to load up to Amazon. Before you leave, I wanna cover one last idea here for an interior, and we're gonna tap into an idea that we stumble across here inside of our research, and that idea was over in BookBolt. So here we are in BookBolt, scroll down, look at some of these interiors that I'm showing you here. Of course, you could get a subscription to BookBolt, and you could get this right here, it's a fishing log. Well, what if we took this concept of a fishing log and we made it a fishing log as well as a fishing activity book for dad? Because let's face it, when you go fishing, if you're not a big time fisherman, it can get a little boring. So maybe you just want to go fishing and maybe you're gonna just go fishing to spend a little time alone. And while you're spending that little time alone and you have your fishing log book, maybe an activity, for example, a word search, about fishing might just be a novel idea for a dad on Father's Day. So check this out. We're gonna pop into Puzzle Publishers. Of course, link in the description. I talk about this on the channel. You're gonna go into a tool called Word Search Crazy. And here you're gonna build a word search puzzle that we're gonna pop into our lined journal, into our notebook that we created on Canvas. So you can do this for free. Of course, Word Search Crazy and Puzzle Publishers is a membership-based platform but hey, if you're able to do this and get your money back, it's well worth the investment. But now you need some ideas and words to put in your word search. So I got you covered there as well. Pop over to the Puzzle Word List database. Again, link to everything I talk about is in the description. Go here to animals. We'll go here to fish. You'll see here, fish, saltwater fish, freshwater fish of America, the world top 100 game fish, so you can see right here, you could download any of these. We'll go ahead and just download fish1text.zip. You see that zip file downloader? We're just gonna open that up. You're gonna see fish.txt right there. We're just gonna open up that text file and you're gonna see right here a big list of fish. Of course, saltwater fish, freshwater fish, this depends on what your kind of fisherman your dad is or maybe, again, it's not gonna matter because he's just killing time when he's out on his fishing trip. So you're just gonna grab some of these right here just to show you the example. Copy those right into your buffer. Pop back over to Word Search Crazy. Go ahead, enter those words in right there. Just drag this puzzle width up a little bit. Use a title, transparent background. How many did you catch? Right, simple. Just again, we're making an activity book. We're just thinking outside the box. Coming up here, we're gonna change this to two column. We're gonna generate that search. There you can see how many did you catch. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna download that PNG and I'm gonna show you exactly how to upload this right into Canva and you could add this right into your journal or your fishing log book. So there you can see puzzle4.png. It is a word search puzzle right there with a transparent background. We're gonna pop back over to Canva, that journal that we created, we're gonna to go to uploads. We're gonna upload an image. That's that puzzle we created right there. We're gonna upload that. We're gonna go over here, we're gonna add, we're simply going to add a new page here, then we're gonna take this, we're gonna drop that in there, and we're just gonna keep this super simple right here to make this simple in this example. Just gonna make it nice and big like that so you can see it, gonna center it. There you go, how many did you catch? Now dad's keeping notes, he's making a journal, he's writing a journal in his fishing log. While he's sitting there, he also has a little word search puzzle to do. Again, you just simply download this, download, download it PDF print quality, you could just simply download like this, two pages. That's gonna download here. That's gonna open up. Now you have your lined paper right there. That's your journal. And then also you have a word search puzzle right in a PDF ready to publish over at Amazon. So I think you can see here a little outside the box thinking. Today is Father's Day. We're thinking about what we can create today that we can sell next Father's Day. It gives us 365 days to get our books ready. We're gonna be coming up with 10 ideas maybe get it down to five, maybe get three published and ready to sell for next Father's Day. If you need to, just rewind this video, watch it again, go back, check out those research ideas, covers, interiors, keywords for other words other than father, stepdad, granddad, all those different angles that we can take to create a low content book and a lot of great ideas here. If they were helpful, give me a thumbs up. One quick note and a little housekeeping here about a low content publishing and the low content publishing videos I do here on 30 Minute Marketing. Today is June 21st, 2020. I will be moving all of these videos that I have been recently doing every Sunday 
to a new YouTube channel called Publisher Report. It is going to look like this. It's gonna have a little typewriter. It's gonna say Publisher Report. Of course, there are no videos on that channel yet, but there is a description. And we're gonna to work to answer the question, is publishing low content books the easiest and quickest way to start earning immediate passive income? Not only are we gonna talk about low content books, we're gonna talk about self-publishing overall, but we are gonna start off in the low content publishing niche. And I just wanna make you aware of that. Link will be in the description. You can pop over, subscribe to that channel. Of course, I would love for you to stay here at 30 Minute Marketing, but I do understand that the audience here is starting to split because I do talk about a lot of things that are just specifically marketing related, as well as low content publishing and puzzle publishing. And I wanna make sure that I devote all of my effort, energy, and time inside of the channel over at Publisher Report to everyone that's only interested in those aspects and really give everything I got into that focus on that channel. Leave 30 Minute Marketing for Marketing, create Publisher Report for self-publishing and low content publishing and great ideas just like the ones you saw in this video. Again, 30 minute timer here on the end screen. Love for you to subscribe to this channel. Check out the link in the description, publish your report, subscribe to that channel. It's gonna kick off in July, 2020. It's gonna start off with new videos then every Sunday, one at least every Sunday on topics just like you saw here. I appreciate you being here. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.